Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a super fabulous day. Today we're exploring a Flagstaff Superlight 529 RKB. It's very similar to the Rockwood Ultralight uh, 2899KS. The hitch weight on this unit is uh, 1,699 pounds. Its unloaded vehicle weight is 10,255 pounds. Its cargo carrying capacity 1,844 pounds. Its exterior length 36 feet 6 inches. Its freshwater capacity 54 gallons. The gray 80, the black 50. This fifth wheel is a new model by Flagstaff. A very nice model indeed, it's rather unique. Has a very nice uh, fiberglass uh, front cap. Has a turning point uh, pin box. I'm at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are some of the nicest people ever. There's a docking light. And to the right, some of the electronics and the battery boxes, etc., etc. And you can see the uh, leveling system. Definitely a lot of uh, wires uh, jumbled around here and there. You can clean them up, you can fix it, of course. It's up to you. I'm a big fan of solar power, so right there you have a little area there where you can put uh, a GoPower uh, solar suitcase or something else. It's up to you. There are different brands of solar power. Just plug it in right there. As we go around the corner, you can see the uh, propane tanks. You get two 30 pounders, one on each side. Here's a close up. You can pause the video right here and you can read some of the information um, specs about the tires and odds and ends, uh, capacities, etc. etc. Again, there's the uh, propane tanks. You get one on each side. And of course, you have a very nice uh, leveling system by Lippert. Here's some of the instructions for the ground control uh, 3.0 leveling system. It's very nice that it's all right there for you to read. Uh, you definitely won't lose that information. Here's a utility area. You have various uh, controls, uh, switches, and, uh, and of course, you have a hose there and hot and cold running water. In that bag is some of the information regarding the uh, fifth wheel. To the left there you have the uh, inverter. Apparently, I think that's an inverter. It looks big enough to be an inverter. It looks like a very powerful inverter. And of course you have a water filter on the left there. Very nice uh, flooring material they use. It's a very industrial flooring. It's better than the usual linoleum that a lot of uh, manufacturers only put in that space. Underneath the uh, light is where you can fill the uh, tanks with uh, water. So it's your gravity water fill. Very conveniently located. Underneath is the low point uh, drain. You can see that to the right. And you have the gray and the black dumps. Very nicely uh, heated and insulated. And of course, they have the Torflex rubber suspension, a very nice suspension indeed. And they offer up the 16 inch uh, Goodyear Endurance tires. You get four of them. Very high quality tires as compared to the usual uh, low end tires a lot of manufacturers offer. So they decided to uh, up their game and give you the Goodyear Endurance 16 inch tires. You can see a bit of the slide out right there. In this little square uh, space here, you can store some odds and ends. I don't know. I guess you would uh, have to be very creative in using the space. I would put some racks in there and stack things in there. Who knows what you would do uh, in that space. It's up to you. It goes back about nine inches, I estimate, and goes up about five feet and goes to, and it's five feet wide. So it's a good little space. It, of course, has the uh, slam latches. Here's a service uh, door access 
for the residential uh, refrigerator inside. The Flagstaff Superlight 529 RKB has three slides and a 50 amp power connection there. It has three air conditioners on the roof and three, count them, three fans. And there's the, uh, I'm pointing towards the stinky, slinky bumper. You have a little storage rack in the back and also a hitch. You get both worlds. Let me take you onto the roof where you can take a peek at the three air conditioners and the three fans. Very nice and powerful fans at that. I saw this fifth wheel at Explorer USA RV Super Center in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. They have various locations and they're affiliated with this gigantic RV conglomerate. So I'm pretty sure they can answer some of your questions. There's a view of the ladder that goes on to the roof and there's your spray ports, your hot and your cold water. Very nice. And it has a little plastic cover. I wish they would improve that plastic cover. Give something a little bit more uh, sturdy, more robust. But it's just plastic. I guess they're trying to save weight and also save cost. You get an awning on this uh, slide. Very nice. And a couple speakers. And an area there to put a television. And there's your alternating current. And you're also... Uh, given a little spot there to connect your antenna. Very nice. I always wonder what's available in the speaker market at the uh, local auto uh, stereo store in order to upgrade these speakers, uh, get some better sound. That would be nice, some weatherproof, uh, high quality speakers. That would be an interesting upgrade. Again, this is the uh, Flagstaff 529 RKB. Uh, very nice uh, fifth wheel indeed. I have a very bad habit of co confusing the LCI step above units with the uh, Moride. These are the Moride. Uh, let me see what they call them. Step above. <laughs> Solid step versus step above. I always get them confused. I apologize. The top step on this uh, Moride uh, step above is uh, significantly uh, bigger than most. It's a nice gigantic little step there. If you have a size uh, 10 or 12, no problem. You can fit them right there in that top step. You can pause the video right here if you want to check out those specs and some of the information. We just passed by the uh, water heater. Here's some of the tools and of course they give you a Suburban Elite Series griddle. Very useful. Uh, make pancakes, whatever you want. And of course right in that uh, box there is the uh, table that uh, goes on that little uh, ledge. And it's a metal table, it's not a cheap table. Again, behind there is the uh, other 30 pound uh, propane tank. Again, you get two awnings, one over the slide and another one over the other uh, section of the uh, RV, the front section. Let me point towards it. One, two, I can count, amazing. So let's head inside. I'm gonna get out of the heat. I was pretty hot. My brain was getting toasted. I originally had a little narration for this, but my uh, brain was so addled and I was so confused. I never made any sense half the time when I was uh, shooting this video. So I decided, eh, let's just do a voiceover. I do like this interior. I do like the lighter uh, fabrics and materials. And of course the uh, Newport ash finishes on the, on the woods. So there you can see the uh, fridge, the TV. And the little, uh, uh, I don't know what you call this. What would you call this area? Uh, a little bar? It can be a coffee bar. It can be a beer bar, a wine bar, a soda bar. It's your choice. Let me close the door. Down the hall is the uh, restroom, bath, and of course the bedroom down the, down a ways. Here's your controls for the uh, air conditioning and also for the Max Air fans. Check your battery charge, your tanks, your heater gas, electric, heater pump, Wi-Fi, slide out one, two, three, on and extend one, two, and some of your light controls right there. 
They give you a tire pressure monitoring system, and I, I stuck this back a little while ago, but it still wants to get unstuck. Of course, you can control everything with the Wii RV app, the awnings, the slide outs, the lights, everything you want. And it's wired for solar. There's no reason why you want to put your charge controller there. There's no reason. You should have it closer to the battery for more efficiency, unless you're a newbie, okay? So let's go from left to right again. Left, got a sofa. Very nice. And uh, then you got a dinette, and of course the chair, the table rather, moves in and out. And this is a good, nice table. It's solid. I like it. Very nice. Let me show you the uh, blinds. You only get the uh, night blinds, not the day blinds. Just the night blinds, which block out all the light. So what do you think of this material here? I like it. It's a nice little vinyl-like material. And you have carpet in the slide. Then you have the uh, island uh, kitchen here. Well, let's go over here first. Let's open this up and see what's behind door number one. And you have some magnets right up here to hold the door in place. And I do not know what this is for. It's a question for your dealership. You have one way up here, two. You have more storage up here that goes up about uh, 18 inches. One, two, three, four, and something on the floor, okay? Quite a bit of storage. And again, this has magnets. Very nice. I love rare earth magnets. I love them. In fact, I just bought a bunch of them for a project of mine. So let's go into the kitchen. Some very unique uh, lighting fixtures. And you get a fan right above there and of course some vents. Let's open these up. Some of my viewers say, hey, well, hey Garza, why do you open up all the cabinets? Because uh, I have to. There's a certain imperative. If you're gonna do an RV review, you have to open up the cabinets, show the people what they look like. So this goes back about, mm, 18 inches, what do you think? 18 inches? Yeah, that's has very high quality uh, hardware, solid wood right here. Nice little glass, very nice, I like it. And sort of a oiled rub bronze sort of hardware. Again, this is the uh, Newport Ash finish, I really like it. I think it's pretty smart that they covered the whole left to right area with this uh, Backsplash, I think it's good. You get uh, four drawers there and uh, one there in the middle and then you get this other one. I don't know how that works. Let's check this out, of course. Push and lift. And there you go, you have the uh, tower of power, two USBs, two uh, alternating currents, and there you go. Let's see what this one's about. Okay, get two areas there. One, two, very nice. Let's see what this looks like. Again, solid wood door fronts that uh, will or bronze look hardware. Plywood boxed, all metal glides. And this is good quality plywood. I like the plywood, very thick. Some of these are like barely holding on, but these are pretty good. I'll just open that one. What's this one? This has an unusual, let's see what goes on with this one. Oh my God. This has a gigantic garbage can. I wouldn't use this. I use it as a laundry hamper. Maybe it's a laundry hamper. I wouldn't use this as a garbage can for sure because it's open and you don't want all those smells getting everywhere and all the bugs going. That would be it. I consider that a laundry hamper, okay? I may be wrong. And this is uh, the same stove top and oven that they use in the micro lights and they have it on the super lights. This is a budget, budget option for them. It's the Magic Chef. So they didn't want to get something super fancy because the price would have gone up. You have an oven there and then you have the, uh, this is cast iron. This is a nice three burner cooktop, not a four burner. And of course in the back you could put knives or whatever you want and a nice back, backsplash. What do you think? This has the larger microwave, 1.3 as compared to 
Very nice. Of course, you have some controls here. And let me go around and check out this uh, island. You have some receptacles there, ground fault circuit interrupting, and you have three doors. Let's go behind. Last time I did this, I had to go all the way around the other side because I didn't want to open my way. It has opened this way. So it goes back quite a ways. It goes back about a good 18 inches. You get two areas there. And of course, it has a little lip. This goes right here. Very nice. A lot of storage. It goes all the way across. So you can have it, at, you know, it goes all the way over there. So same down here. Just a lot of doors. And then you have the uh, stainless steel double bowl sink. I appreciate that. Do you like stainless steel or would you rather have plastic? You tell me in the comment section. I say, hey, Jesus, plastic's the way to go. Stainless steel sucks. I don't like it. No way, Jose, Jesus, whatever the hell their name is. Solid service countertops. Again, very nice. Very nice. Uh, beautiful little faucet here I like this faucet it's a very nice looking faucet and of course this comes out but I don't want to break it okay so they have this high sense made in China refrigerator came on a slow boat from China you got four doors let me open up uh, doors here so this is pretty good so there's the information about the refrigerator it's a uh, Model number HQD258SV by Hisense. Made in China. Echo in China. Very nice. This is a 265-pound refrigerator. Oh, my God. That's big. Let's open up the other side. And this is your ice maker, and you have all kinds of great stuff. The frozen zone. And you have some more down here. Let me open the other door just to do it ad nauseum. And you have it right there. So what do you think of this refrigerator? It says fridge, convertible, freezer, modes, unlock by Hisense. It's a good little refrigerator. A lot of products are made in China nowadays because they do it cheaper. Americans don't want to pay a premium for American labor. That's how it works. That's how capitalism works. So this is an Insignia TV, and this one's made in, uh, I forget, uh, Vietnam. This one's in Vietnam. You have some connections back here, and you have a great amount of storage. And you have a very nice lip back here. Nice storage. You can hide items back here. I wonder if you could put, like, a special padlock here and lock things back there. Make it like a little storage area for your valuables. So you have an IRV Technologies uh, head unit, two speakers, and a very nice looking fireplace in that slide. This is a slide, it goes from right to left, and then you have this slide, goes there to there. And now we're going into the, uh, I like this. I like this a lot. Every day my wife and I would probably just sit there, just have our coffee, get, you know, talk about what we're gonna do during our day. My wife is going to retire in about two, three years. That's what she's been telling me. She was supposed to retire last year, but she, she loves her job as a professor so much, she just uh, doesn't want to retire quite yet. So in about two, three years, we're going to be living full-time for about a year, and then we're going to buy a house somewhere. We decided, hey, let's go cruise around the country, see where we can buy a nice house, all the while just uh, living full-time. You have two very nice chairs. You have alternating current there. You have this refrigerator over here. Opens up pretty simple. There you go. You have some controls up there. What would you put in there? Would you put some uh, beer? Some Chardonnay? Rosé? Some Diet Coke? Some, some water? Whatever you want to put in there, you can put it in there. So it's your choice and it's your life. So on off switch, USB, alternating current, and right here, some very nice storage. I like it. Very high quality wood, glass, and uh, another TV. I was just looking at a TV over here, and you have another TV over here. Wow, I like that. More TVs, more better. That's my philosophy. I love TVs. I love to watch TVs. So, there you go. Right, that's good storage, and you have storage up there. Let me open this up. Let me see if I can do this. 
<sighs> so that's very nice. What do you think? And I'm going to raise this up really high and see if I can see behind here. What's back there? I do not know. I have an extended version of my uh, camera down here. <laughs> Let's go down here and see what's going on. That's good storage. You can put some items back there. Again, uh, you probably know this. Uh, when you want to put uh, garbage, you want to put it in an enclosed container, especially uh, when you're camping so no uh, critters get in there. So I'm sitting on the sofa. I'm sitting right here. Ah, the perfect TV watching position. I love this. At least it's very comfortable. I like it. And you have a fan up there moving some air, and you have your Maxer fan with vent cover over there and you have your AC here and you have two Max Air fans what's going on here two Max Air fans very nice and if you want a cross breeze if it's a cool 72 degrees lakeside with a wafting breeze and zero humidity not too not too much humidity you'd uh, open those up okay so let's go up there's a fire extinguisher and you have three steps to go up Let's do the bedroom and then do the uh, bathroom. So here we are in the bedroom. You have two windows and this puny little ledge over here and receptacles right there. Alternating current receptacles. You got these little ledges so you can rest your phone if you want. Nice windows and a little itty bitty slide. Let's go over here. You have a place for your uh, washer and dryer. Very nice. And you have some receptacles back there and some storage. More receptacles way over here. And you got some place to hang your clothes and more storage right here. This is a little tricky storage. Stick something in there apparently. And this uh, closes just like this. There you go. And then you have your on off switch. Let's open this side now. So, what do you think? This is a little sneaky little area. You can put a piece of wood here, make it look like it's nothing there, and then you have something hiding over here. But then again, they just have to open this up and they know it's something hidden there. <laughs> it was a good idea for about five seconds, and I figured it out. What a dumb idea in the end it was. So, Storage here for your clothes. And you have two drawers down here. Let's see if you can actually open these drawers here. Yeah, these are short drawers. These, you know, go, you know, you can put some stuff in there. Two drawers. And then you have this little area over here with six, no, four drawers. Yes, I can count. But these are deep drawers. Again, solid wood door fronts, plywood box construction, all metal glides with these very nice uh, older bronze looking metal handles. And they're all the same size. You get this nice little top here. Let me see if I can open it up. Nope, it doesn't open up. Very nice. Sealed membrane. You have a fuse box down there. And uh, let's see if we can open up this uh, bed and see what's underneath. Ugh. I'm going to do this from the middle. See, I always grab it from the handle. It works better for me. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm going on 70 years old and uh, getting a little bit old. Nice storage under there. Has this little platform. I don't know what that's all about. Who knows? Another question for your sales. But let me drop this down, and it's going to make a little bit of a thud. Has this uh, decent mattress. Looks like about seven inches. Looks like a good quality mattress. Ugh. I have to put, put some weight on this. Ugh. There I go. I got it. So what do you think of these pillows? What do you think of the window treatments? Have some speakers in here. You have another AC unit up here. Very nice. And you have your connections for your TV right here with your TV backer. Right there. Right there, boys and girls. Now let's go into the restroom porcelain foot flush toilet 
Very nice. And you got this little corner storage area. <coughs> My wife would put her knitting there. And this is for your linens and your towels. More linens and towels area. And over here, let me see. A tiny little area. And of course, something that needs service once in a great million years is behind door number one. And you got the stove where you can put your scrubbies or whatever. And this, you can play with, okay? So get another Max Air fan. That's the third one I've seen. Very nice. And you got the uh, medicine cabinet where you can put your comb, your brushes, your toothbrush. I mean, toothpaste and stuff like that. And they include in the price a very nice towel ring. I like this towel ring. It's A+. Plus. And again, a Max Air fan. I think that's a Max Air fan. I could be wrong. And of course, this unit takes advantage of Aquaview Shower Visor. It saves you a little bit of water here and there. Uh, this is the key component. When this turns white, it's apparently heated up. So you can flip the switch and you have hot water as compared to frozen water. And that's important for some of us. This is metal. Very nice. And it goes up there. It has a very nice little shower head. Of course, you can always buy an Oxygenix. And this year, I've noticed in several of the units, they no longer have the gray bag back there. They have the white bag that actually matches. Uh, brilliant. That's brilliant. Something that actually matches. The shower surround is a two-piecer. An upscale unit would have one piece of fiberglass instead of this uh, two pieces of plastic, okay? That's good. There it is. Let me go inside the shower. You have a little area here where you can uh, sit. Let me sit down right here. Uh, so I can sit in a nice solid seat. Let me turn around the camera. Ooh, wee, it's getting hot. It's 80 degrees today in Fort Worth, Texas. Muy caliente, muy caliente. So let me go up here and see how tall I am in this uh, unit. I have, again, a good five inches. And right here, you can do uh, another five, four inches. So it's nine inches. And I'm 5'10", 175 pounds of super horrifically ugly and I, I fit in here no problem this little bag is very nice but what do you think let me turn around the camera there's a close shot of that uh shower uh you know handle it's a crn looks pretty nice it has a little switch here and there it goes like that works for me but this is very disappointing a plastic sink in the top of the line one of the top of the line units the super light though. the upgrade of the super lights of course is the classic but this is still should be stainless steel or ceramic if you have any comments about this stuff you can always contact anthony yoder at uh flagstaff rockwood over there in indiana he'll answer all these questions and say I don't know about Jesus. I worry about him. He, he's too opinionated. Boy, is it a hot day. It's a very hot day here in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm at Explore USA RV Supercenter where they are some of the nicest people in the known galaxy. Seriously. It's, uh, again, super hot. It's about 80 degrees and inside here it's probably about or like a 90 or 100. It's early April 2021 and this is a model I really like of the Flagstaff Superlight. It's a fifth wheel. Of course, if you want some more better, mo better, is that a term? Uh, an upgraded uh, fifth wheel, you would get the classic. In the classic, you get a better oven instead of this uh, basic oven, and you probably get stainless steel sinks in the bathroom and uh, all those kinds of amenities, okay? You pay for them, it's a little bit more money, but you know, in, in the end, it's up to you and what your budget is, okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, and if you have the time, uh, leave your kind and super friendly comments again I read most of my other uh, comments if I get them I try to read them as soon as possible and respond and uh, I appreciate my comments sometimes people even say hey you you mentioned the wrong product number and I say oh my god you're right I change it on my <laughs> the title and then where I can and fix it okay I appreciate all you folks out there that are helping me out because I am not perfect far from it okay just ask my wife okay 
Again, from Fort Worth, Texas, don't forget to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash JMM Garza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.